U.S. climate envoy John Kerry is in Beijing for a three-day visit. He's there to resume long-awaited climate talks between the world's two biggest economies and two biggest carbon polluters. As effects of climate change is taking catastrophic turns across the globe, we've seen the kind of floods that have taken place in several parts of the world. We've seen the kind of heat wave that is being witnessed across the world as well. John Kerry, the U.S. climate envoy, has now arrived in Beijing and he is going to try and resume and put back on track the negotiations that have been halted with China. Despite lingering diplomatic tensions, the two mega fossil fuel polluters are set to discuss ways in which they can effectively slash greenhouse emissions by transitioning to clean alternatives. The much needed climate conversations between the two countries was halted last year in August when China raised its objections to Representative Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan that Beijing claims is their own territory. Now, as US and China vow to take big steps and mitigate climate change, Chinese envoy said that China is seeking substantial dialogue this week. However, observers are keeping their expectations low, wondering if both the countries will agree on common policies and on common targets. Is this more about pandering to their domestic audiences? That is also a question that many have raised. Abhishek Jha, my colleague, joining us, getting us the latest on that. Now, Abhishek, uh, we, there is a lot that needs to be done as far as both China and US are concerned, as far as reducing their carbon footprint goes. And US has been, the government there has been facing diplomatic compulsions as well. The Republicans have been... Uh, uh, going after the Biden administration, that the administration is not doing enough to make sure that China is accountable. Uh, of course, see, uh, uh, if you talk collectively, China and US happens to be uh, the largest emitters of greenhouse gases in the world. Uh, collectively, they skew about 40% of emissions. Uh, and in the last one year, uh, there has been not much of engagement between the two sides on the issue of climate change. Uh, the decision was taken during the Bali summit. Uh, of G20, but then uh, between the, the leaders of USA and China, that uh, both countries should engage more on climate change talks and how to reduce the emission. But then it did not go further because of this uh, February uh, February uh, spy balloon thing. After that, we have seen a downslide in uh, US-China diplomatic relationship. However, uh, things have improved in the last uh, four weeks at least, we could say, because uh, this is the third, uh, you know, a third cabinet level meeting, uh, cabinet secretary level. Uh, uh, visit from the uh, U.S. to China after Anthony Blinken and Janet Yellen. Uh, and again, it will be followed by Raimundo, uh, Secretary of uh, uh, Commerce also to China. So it, it looks like uh, USA is trying to engage with China holistically on the issue of trade, commerce, economy, security, and of course, climate change. Uh, now, what do these countries have decided? In 2015, the Paris Agreement uh, had broadly uh, you know, ratification or agreement from all the countries. And U.S. has also agreed that by 2030, it will achieve 50% of reduction of its emission targets. And by 2050, it will stop adding any new emission to the greenhouse gas. Uh, but China has ad been ad adamant that by 2030, it cannot reduce the emission. Uh, in fact, it will just keep on increasing. And by 2060, it will stop adding uh, any emission to the climate change. So uh, how to fast track those the conversation or those commitments is something that the two uh, sides will be discussing. Also, uh, the discussion will happen on reducing tariffs from Chinese solar battery, which have uh, China has become largest source of solar batteries for across the uh, for countries across the world, uh, and U.S. solar battery production uh, or manufacturers are asking the government to increase the tariff from importing Chinese solar batteries so that their domestic uh, consumption or domestic manufacturing industry should not uh, you know uh, adversely be impacted by the Chinese import. So, how U.S. and uh, China are going to uh, you know balance those tariff negotiations is something also that can be on the agenda of yes. uh, John Kerry when he'll be meeting his Chinese counterpart. Yes, and like you mentioned, that this isn't a series of engagements that uh, US seems to now be in carrying out uh, with China. Does that finally mean that uh, the trade thaw that we saw between, the trade uh, frosty ties that we saw between the two countries for years together, now that seems to be heading towards a thaw because both those countries have realized that they need each other as far as sustaining their economies go? Uh, I mean, it will be a little too, uh, you know, too premature to say that if they are agreeing to, uh, you know, engage in, uh, agreeing to talk about that. Uh, but the good thing is that the two largest economies of the world are trying to engage on the issue. In fact, uh, in, we have seen the Secretary of State Lincoln going there, Janet Yellen, Secretary of Treasury going there. Now, uh, John Kerry, Secretary of, I mean, Envoy on Climate Change is going there. Raymond, uh, uh, you know, Secretary of uh, Commerce will be also going there. But Chinese side have categorically denied 
having any engagement on the defense aspect or the defense relationship or officials or the high level officials of china and us engaging on the defense aspect uh, it was reported that in the month of february despite uh, pentagon and higher uh, us officials requesting an engagement or meeting or conversation with the chinese counterpart uh, those requests were denied so things are not uh, too good between the two side but yeah i uh, mean the workable relationship between the two uh, major economies of the world and major climate uh, you know emitters of the greenhouse gases is something that is a welcome step and we can only hope uh, some positive outcomes with the with the meetings that john kerry is going to have in china and sure. uh, you know tariff discussion that will happen between the chinese side and the us side sure is this only about uh, exchanging pleasantries and niceties or is there an actual outcome we'll find out in the next 3 days for the moment though abhishek thank you so much for getting us the latest